This is Flaris, a family jet plane, made out of extremely light composite materials. It was developed by specialists from different European countries. Another example of regional innovation is Nano for Health. This device allows patients to carry out their own tests and receive quick, accurate results. Or customised shoes, made possible thanks to 3D scanners, which were developed through partnerships between industry, universities and research centres. That's what smart specialisation is about. It's not about extensive documents and strategies, but it's about undertaking joint actions to have an impact. Actions based on bottom-up entrepreneurship and innovation will develop new growth dynamics in priority areas. Well, I think the most remarkable challenge of all has been how regions have been invited to change their governance systems to make the governance process more inclusive. By uniting key stakeholders, regions will benefit from more diversity, novelty and fresh thinking. This will help create all forms of innovation, not only technology-driven, but also knowledge-based. It's very valuable to, to speed up the process of working together to, to make sure that other regions, uh, that, that you can find SMEs and other companies in other regions to, to work together. European structural and investment funds provide the main source of financing, helping to mobilise up to 250 billion euro until 2020. To engage business in the smart specialisation, it's extremely important to keep this a very dynamic uh, process. I think it's very important that business understand that it's not only about writing a document, but actually coming out with an actual economic transformation of the region. Industry can and must be a key driver here because only industry and only businesses can create jobs. Smart specialisation strategies create clear, stable and predictable investment conditions in regions to mobilise public uh, and private research and innovation investments.